Hi guys, I'm Melvin Sajid and in this video, I'll be guiding you how to get started with robotics and how to become a robotist in 2025. If you have ever seen people building robots and companies releasing their new robots and their robotic creations, you are in the right place. Today, we'll explore the pathway to robotics in 2025 and how you can start building your own robots. Let's dive into the video. Step 1. Learn the basics of robotics. Start by taking an introductory robotics course. This will help you understand how robots are built, how they are programmed, and the diverse field of robotics. Learn how computer science, electronics, and mechanics works in the field of robotics. I have provided links to some beginner-friendly robotics courses in the video description. Check them out and start learning. Once you have learned the basics, it's time to move to the next step. Step 2. Learn programming, specifically C programming. You might be wondering why learn C programming while C++ and Python are the key languages used in the field of robotics. C is the foundation and backbone of robotics programming and it is used in controlling electronics and C will give you a solid understanding of programming principles and C will make you understand how robots are programmed in the real world. I have included some great C programming courses including free YouTube tutorials in the description. As you learn, try to build basic projects in C programming. This will strengthen your skills in programming. Step 3. Learn electronics and Arduino. Get yourself an Arduino kit along with some basic electronics like motors, sensors, LEDs. Start by learning the fundamentals of electronics. Understand how LEDs work, how sensors work and how motors work. Play around with these things and understand how these electronics works. Once you have understand the basics of electronics, now let's dive into Arduino. Arduino is a microcontroller that lets you control electronics to build cool projects. The best part is it uses C-like programming language making it easier to learn because we already learned C programming. Start by building projects in Arduino and learn how electronics are controlled using Arduino. The best way to learn Arduino is by building projects. Step 4. Building your first robot. Now it's time to put your knowledge into action. Build a simple robot using Arduino, such as a robotic arm, line follower robot, or an obstacle avoidance robot. This step will give you a hands-on experience with electronics, programming, and robotic mechanisms. Try to do it yourself. Do not copy code from ChatGPT or YouTube. Writing your own code will deepen your understanding of how robotic programming work. Before going forward with the next steps, let me say some things. These four steps, learning the basics, C programming, electronics and building your own robot all these four steps may take you two to three months to complete like learning and understanding make sure you understand it correctly because basics is the foundation to any field these four steps will give you the foundation to the field of robotics and make you understand how robots work and how they are built now let's move on to the intermediate steps into the field of robotics so let's see what are the next steps if you're serious about robotics, join our robotics WhatsApp group and robotics community. Links are there in the description. Connect with others who are also passionate about robotics. Step 5. Learn Python programming. After completing your first robot, it's time to learn Python, one of the most important programming languages in the field of robotics. Python is widely used in the industry for developing robots, handling data, implementing AI systems, and all these things. You can start learning Python by learning the basics and try to build projects like building a game using Python, building a chatbot using Python, an AI assistant using Python. All these things are basic projects. Try to build them. Python is a vast language. There are multiple fields in Python like data science, machine learning, deep learning, all these things. Try to learn the basics first, then try to build some projects using Python. There is always new things to learn in Python. You cannot completely learn Python. So give Python a one month time and understand all the basics and try to build some projects. Do not copy from ChatGPT and all these things and just do not do that. You can watch YouTube videos and learn Python. So you may ask where should I learn Python from? I have provided some excellent Python courses links in the description as well as free Python tutorials in the description. So check them out as well. Step 6. Learn Raspberry Pi or NVIDIA Jackson boards. These devices act as a brain of a robot. Raspberry Pi is a powerful and affordable option for most beginners, while NVIDIA Jackson boards are more advanced and used in real-world robots, like unitary go-to dog robot. Try to get a Jackson board if you have enough money to buy one. Start doing projects using these boards and understand how robots are built in the real world. So Jackson and Raspberry Pi boards are Linux based computers so you should start learning Linux along with the re learning Raspberry Pi and Jackson Nano. 
you can program Raspberry Pi and Jackson Nano in both C programming and Python. So we have already learned Python. So you can start building projects using Jackson Nano and Raspberry Pi using Python. I'll provide some basic introduction to Raspberry Pi and introduction to Jackson Nano courses in the description. If you do not have the money to buy a Raspberry Pi or Jackson Nano, try to get it from your college. Most of the engineering colleges have Raspberry Pi and Jackson Nano boards. So you can learn from them as well. Step 7. Build an advanced robot. Now it's time to take everything you learned and build a second more advanced robot. Use Raspberry Pi or Jackson as a brain of the robot, Arduino for interfacing electronics and Python to program the robot. It may feel challenging and hard to build, so team up with your friends who are also interested and passionate about robotics. This will give you a deeper understanding of how robots are built in the real world and you can also build one. This may take more time than you expect. This, there may be errors and you should fix the errors and all these things may happen. You will learn a lot of things together while you are building this project. Build a robotic rover or high level robotic pick and place robot using computer vision. All these are high level projects. I'll give some project ideas in the description. You guys can check that out as well. Combine some project ideas together and build your own robot. And this will be a really fun. All the best for your robotic project. So this is the pathway to getting started with robotics. Remember, learning by doing projects is the best way to learn. Keep in mind that this is just a beginning. Robotics is a vast field and here there is lot to learn and lot to do. In my next video, I will cover how to become a robotics software engineer and land a job in the industry. If you are serious about robotics, join our robotics whatsapp group and robotics community. Links are there in the description. Connect with others who are also passionate about robotics. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. So see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.